lordship mm. that will also be taken into consideration a very short date your lordship they mm. after tomorrow your lordship they after tomorrow if the cd is being called for they after tomorrow yes they yeah. after tomorrow holiday. is holiday oh yes on on monday your lordship first uh, my lord actually we three were anyway uh, three are friends it's a regular i mean uh, 439 application yeah. we'll take it on monday all right Heard Mr. Kago. Huh? In Kago, learn consent for the applicant. This is an application under section 439 of CRPC 19th century for a praying for the grant of for praying for release of the accused. Namely, Ms. Pamsana Basum on bail in connection with the book PS case number 13 of 2024 20, under section 302 of the 34 IPC 1860. All for the city. List on first of 01 04 20, 24. Same order. 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 Same Yes. All right. <laughs> Next. May may I, my doubts. Yes, all so, uh, compatible offers. Yes. Withdraw. Yes. Withdraw. You want to withdraw? No, no, no. Uh, the, uh, yes. Compatible offenses. Uh, my lord, uh, this is a question of this uh, fire and yes. Uh, yes. So there is uh, as as per your uh, suggestion, uh, there is a uh, numbers of cases where honourable apex court has quashed the proceeding, and this uh, fire also. So same, uh, I would like to rely those judgment and you approach the uh, the trial court. So it's not uh, charge. It has not been uh, filed before this trial court. It's, it's still in police station. So uh, may rely those judgment. No, your lordship. So any even if the FIR, your lordship is to be quashed, your lordship, it can be quashed only by the uh, competent court. So competent court quashing. Compoundable uh, compounding is something different from acquiring. There's a difference in compounding and acquisement. So uh, I've relied uh, apex court judgment and uh, that and parallel high court practices over there. Mm. So this honorable court has inherent power can quiet the same if uh, same has been uh, settled by the party. Where, 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 where it is? Uh, just, uh, uh, I, uh, excuse me. Hello, just that five. Huh. So, uh, in judgment, you just rely one one relevant judgment. Not okay. On this so, so in this, uh, uh, Professor R K Vijay Saravati and another versus Sudha Sitaram and another. In the 2019-16 SEC 739, where Apex Court has quashed the compoundable case. Hmm. Where a catena of cases has been examined and discussed. So in this case, uh, it was for 405, 415, and 420. And even for subsequent that judgment, I will. 
with judgment just uh, i have limited copy just hmm. huh. one that's of effects for this i i already given this one when professor we... professor rk yes vijay sarthi and another yes that's which, which paragraph which paragraph so if uh, uh it's 105 for 115 and 420 yes here uh, uh paragraph 30 paragraph 30 30 pa yes 30 yes paragraph 30 30 hmm. yes for the above reason the appeal is allowed the judgment of the high court is set aside and the criminal proceeding arising from this 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 number instituted by the first respondent against the appellant are quiescent we however clarify that no opinion has been expressed on the merits of the pending civil suit so there was two two matter where does it say that compoundable offense can also also be uh, quiescent it's, it's been quiescent by honorable supreme court in this case so it's uh, for the clarity of this lordship 482 doesn't limit the that only for those non compoundable cases should be approached before this honorable court these compoundable cases in the sense that's something different from compounding are you, are you a professor of law no lord sir then so read properly and come on the prayer of mr so and so learned counsel for the petitioner list this matter on when next week read properly read those judgment properly not the last uh, the 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 uh, so, so uh, lord chief one more uh, i will rely that uh, relevant point this uh, krishna krishnan and chan where the question regarding those this type of uh, uh, section can be quiescent or not in this case in this case uh, that paragraph uh, paragraph number this What is to be done? Sorry. Read it properly and come back. <laughs> Lordship, there will is you, a... Will you hear you next week? So, what is that? Lordship, it's... Does it say, the paragraph which you have read, does it say that uh, the compoundable offenses can be quashed there... by exercising the power, inherent power... Under once section it's, 482. Yes, once it's... So as that... Uh, in... So, uh, may I please this uh, case... Uh, one case is there, uh, Lordship. I will... I would like to... Yes, yes. Sir, you are ill prepared. Come back next week. Lord Shiv, I am prepared, but uh, if you are prepared, tell us. So, I would like to rely this uh, Madan Lal and other. Uh. Yes. But, so in paragraph three, ah, read it. it appears that respondent number one got registered this this case against the petitioner with police station. Uh, this this three three forty. This this. Tell us uh, what what is what do you mean by this this? So uh, petitioner with police station, Simla West, under section three forty one, three two three, five zero four, five zero six, and thirty four IPC, under section one eight. One of motor vehicle egg. Yes. All are compoundable. Hmm. The police, after completion of investigation, presented the challenge in the court of learned chief judicial magistrate Simla, and from where the case was assigned to the court of JMF, JMIFC Simla. And after framing of charge under section 323, 341, 503, 504, and 34, and under section 181 of the motor vehicle egg. 
the case is now pending at your adjudication in the court of learned additional chief judicial magistrate court number two at the evidence stage of the prosecution during the pendency of the trial petitioner number one two three have amicably settled the matter by entering into a compromise whereby they have resolved to put an in to the dispute and compromise and settle the issue once for all. It is on the basis of such compromise that the present petition has jointly been filed for the ground of following reliefs. It is therefore respectedly, respectfully prayed that this honorable court may be pleased to send for records of the case and after examining its legality and propriety, may be pleased to quiet the affair on the basis of which a quiet case titled as state of HP versus, HP versus Madanlal under section 323-341-504-506-34 IPC and under section 181 of the Motor Vehicle Act, which is pending in the court of Learn Additional Chief Judicial Magistrate Court number 2, Simla 4-0209-2018 for evidence of the respondents, which has been registered against the petitioners and quite the consequential proceedings including summoning of petitioner which proceedings are now fixed for 0409-2018 in the interest of justice as the matter stands compromise between the petitioner and complainant. Next par paragraph. However, the moot question is whether the effort in such cases in such cases can in fact be quiet on the basis of compromise. The issue in question has been extensively dealt with by the bench of honorable three judges of the Honorable Supreme Court in Gyan Singh versus State of Punjab 2012-10 SEC 303, wherein the relative scope of inherent power of High Court under Section 482 to quiet criminal proceedings of non-compoundable offense in view of the compromise right at between the parties have been considered extensively dis discussing different provision and taking into consideration the different decision rendered by it. The Honorable Court held as follows. The position that... You read the relevant para. What does it say that the, the, the comfortable here, here, offenses here. can be... Com uh, Lord, Lordship, paragraph 5. Hmm. Paragraph 5. It clearly says, however, the moot question is whether the affair in such like cases, in fact, be quiet on the basis of compromise. compromise. Yes. This on the... We're not on compromise. Where on whether the if the offenses are all compoundable. Yes. So in this Can case, for exercise jurisdiction, your case which you have relied is that whether that can be quashed on the basis of the compromise. Yes. This case you were. Sure. We're not on that. We're That's, not on that. I got lordship. We're on whether the offenses if offenses are compoundable with the 482 petition lies for quashing. You show us. That's why it's akin to the same case which I filed before this honorable court. No. That sections are akin now. No. It doesn't say. The, it, is, it is a case where whether the 482 power can be exercised on the, when, when the, when the parties have compromised the matter. matter. Lordship, it's a there is no such exact word whether this compoundable case case can be quashed. There Therefore, it's not maintainable. I'll dismiss. Or would you would you like would you like to Lord Richard more? Have some Richard more. Would you like to take a chance next week or I'll dismiss the your criminal appeal? Okay, next week then. I'll dismiss. No, next week. Because uh, Lordship, it's very difficult to find exact the compoundable case can be quashed by the Honorable Court. There is no such judgment which... reason is very simple. Yes. There is a provision under the CRPC where you can apply, approach the uh, magistrate or the court, appropriate co court. Lordship, it's not a charge sheet has not filed before this uh, appropriate court. So still, it's uh, uh, matter is there on the prayer Foxy. of Mr. So and So Keeper. L yes, Lordship. Allowing you, when did you join, Lordship? When did you join the profession? Two thousand twelve. Twelve. It's uh, twelve years. 
serious enough. Have some okay. more research. All right. Gotcha. I appreciate that you could have so many cases. I appreciate this court appreciates you. But then it should be on the point, not on the air, right? Try your luck next week. All right. Highly obliged. Are you sure? Sure. Are you having, uh, what this honorable after, court has after going through all these cases, are you sure? Sure. Sure. Yes. Okay. I'll give you another chance. Had it been some senior, of course, you are considerably senior enough. 12 years. Hello. 12 years practice. In between. That's why I'm giving a chance. Next week. I heard Mr. T. Kipa, London Council for the Petitioner. And also had MSTG in the London Additional Petty. Uh, in view of the no, 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 this court on 21 3 2024 has granted uh, a week's time to the London Council of the Petitioner. to argue on the maintainability of the present criminal petition. Please stop. Today, Mr. Kipa, London Council, uh, uh, relying on the long line of judgment of the Supreme Court, permanently urged that even if the offenses are compoundable, there's no bar under the law to exercise inherent power of this court under Section 482 of CRPC, comma, 1970. After hearing the learned counsel for the petitioner, comma, this court finds that the long line of Judgment relied on by the learned counsel is uh, is not applicable in the present case, Mister. However, to afford another opportunity to have some more research on the issue, the learned counsel for the petitioner is granted another. A week's time. List this matter after a week. Hello, Blaji. Very good luck. Do you want to say anything? No, Your Lordship. In fact, uh, Your Lordship has rightly observed there is a proviso 482 can be invoked only if there is no proviso, Your Lordship. Then, mm -hmm. then the filing of the charge sheet, Your Lordship. What, uh, what proviso? Provisions, you know. Oh. Also, filing of the, since this uh, argument is that charge sheet has not been filed, your lordship. 320 can be invoked after the filing of charge sheet. They can wait. I, I tried to indicate. Yes, right. But he's highly ready. Thank you. Deeply. Item number seven. Thank you, your lordship. Item number In this case, I am appearing for the respondent, my lord. This matter yes. is otherwise infructuous, according to me, my lord. Because their prayer was to uh, set aside and cause the NIT, my lord. Which yes, they, which uh, he has uh, already participated. Participated and they have got the uh, uh, appointment order also, my lord. Right? Four, twelve, or He has been awarded. He has been awarded. Then, what's there? Matter is infructuous, my lord. And Mr. On the other end, Ah, on the other end, Your name? Nicha Rakam. Huh? El Rakam. Mr. El Rakam, Landed Council, appearing on behalf of Mr. Ah, uh, hard to say, sir. Uh, 
Elder Khan, we have Mr. M. Kato, Learned Counsel for the Petition. Mr. B.K. Singh, my Lord. B.K. Singh, Learned Counsel for the Respondents. And, and, uh, and Mr. B.K. Singh, Learned Counsel. Next para. It is stated at the bar that the matter has become infractious. Please tell. Accordingly, the... One line. Uh, no, no. It has been in, in fruxes in view of the fact that the a challenge made in this writ petition is the NIT dated. NIT dated, my lord. 29-5-2023. Uh, 29-5-2023. 29-5-2023. 2023. Uh, the, 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 uh, uh, and, and the contract has been awarded to, awarded the, writ to the writ petitioner. Writ petitioner. By order dated 4 12 2023. Mm. Ah. Appointment order. Mm. By by appointment order dated 20? 4 12 2023. 24 12 23. 23. Mm. Yeah. Okay, what is this? List of okay. accordingly, the petition stands closed on having been infructious. Infructious, this morning I served, my lord. This morning I have served extra copy. So, yes. What is to be done? It needs to be disposed today, this matter. Huh? It was supposed to dispose this matter today. So, you argue? Argue the matter? No, on the last uh, two occasions, the senior counsel ex exhaustively argued the matter. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. You so, argue the matter. So, on the line of that uh, transport posting guidelines, 1998, on that line, my lord can dispose the matter. Hmm. You argue the matter? You argue it? My lord, already uh, the senior counsel already advanced the argument. I, I, uh, I don't remember. Today, this matter is listed. You argue the matter. So, we'll we'll dispose of, we'll argue the matter. You are good, matter. Losip, here, Losip, the main prayer is Losip, the petitioner want to continue till this 31st, Losip. Hmm. Today is the last date, Losip. The substantial, it has become in process, uh, Tomorrow, day after tomorrow, and then Sunday, Losip. Three holidays, Losip. Substantial, it has become in process, hmm. So, in deadline, it can be closed. This is my Amal Main prayer is only till 31st, you want to continue, Losip. Yes, my lord. So, in that in in that line also, my lord can dispose the matter. Close, close the matter. In that line, because uh, our prayer was there till uh, we need protected till thirty first of this month, as per that guideline as well says. So, so otherwise, the tomorrow Good Friday, Short second Short Saturday. Short cut. In that way, it can be closed. Yeah. Heard Mr. So and So, learned counsel for the petitioner. And also had Mr. S. in London, Senior Government Advocate for the State Response. State response. Non appears for the response number four. Close. Mr. Uh, as agreed to by the Learned Council for the Parties and on consent, comma, the matter has become practically infructious. Practically. Infructious. Correct. In view of the in, in, in view of the uh, in view of the nature of prayer made in this writ petition, that the petitioner should be uh, may be allowed to continue as executive engineer. Yachuli. No, Yajali. Yajali. Yajali division. PWD. PW uh, Yajali division till thirty first. Till thirty first. Uh, 
24 plus 2. The, the, the 29, 30, and 31st being the holy day. Come on, according to the learned concept of the parties, the there's, there would not be any server being a live, a live issue to be adjudicated by this court. Christopher. In view of the uh, uh, and uh, having considered the submissions comma, of the learned concept of the parties and as agreed to and on the consent, comma, this repetition is closed, having be become infectious. <coughs> That's all. Are yes. you sure? Yes, my lord. Sure. No, sir. Do my answer. On. No, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Substantially, no, sir. It has become infectious, no, sir. On agreement only, I'm closing it. No, sir. Never blame. Don't blame <laughs> in future. All right. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Sure. You can change it also now. <laughs> otherwise, Are you sure? Otherwise, uh, that part may, may not be lossip recorded. And on lossip, observation lossip, it may be close. Lossip. No, I cannot. Otherwise, I'll, I'll decide on the merit. I'll decide on the merit. If you are sure, it's okay. I've dictated. Below, that's may, all. Below, may this uh, cross this case on merit as well. No, what is it become infraction? How can you, we, we, we go on merit? As per the 1998 that guidelines. So on on that line, may Lord get close the matter. Sober. It's okay. Oh, bless. Go down. Lordship, on the last occasion, CD was called for you. Yes. However, we uh, had not received the CD. Next week, Monday. 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 Uh, Monday. I had Mister. Mister. So and so, Lordship, uh, this uh, alleged accused is uh, languishing for yes. last three sixty days. Ah. Three sixty days, and charge sheet consideration is still pending for last seven months. So. In, huh? Yes. He was arrested on 38th. Charge sheet has been filed. Yes, charge sheet has been what filed. What city has been called? Uh, I'm not aware, Your Lordship. On the last so he is a UTP for last almost it's 360 days. In that case, we'll have to call for, for the, the TCR, Your Lordship. TCR? Yes. Sir. Not the case diary. All right. Charge sheet has only been filed. Yes, Lord Sheet. If uh, the charge sheet is not filed, immediately we'll grant you a bail. That's why even uh, I enclosed why, the why charge. Why the CD was called on the last occasion? CD was called. Yes. Why sir. case diary? Why not the trial court records? I asked for uh, this charge sheet is enclosed there. Uh, that copy is enclosed in this petition also. Uh, Any idea why why the CD was I'm, called? I'm not aware, Your Lordship. Uh, my learned counsel. Chase Shring had appeared in his mind. Heard Mr. Swenso learned counsel for the petitioner. Uh, applicant also had MS TG in learned additional public prosecutor state. Come on. It is noticed that on 13 03 2024, case diary was called for. Mr. Bhava, since the charge has all been laid before the court, before the federal court. Mm -hmm. The uh, trial court records, you can copy of the trial court record be called for, at least after a week. Lord, you ought to have mentioned that there. That the, I, I have mentioned and it's enclosed there in uh, petition also. But this. then you have, when this order was passed, you were there. Yes. So then I mentioned this petition. So it happens, you could have uh, pointed her out. Anyway, at least after a week. City was called for. That's why. 
if, if you missed it. Lord Sir, well, I, it, I, you missed it. I acknowledge this honorable court that uh, even in petition also, charge sheet is enclosed. The copy okay. of charge sheet is enclosed. Did you, did you, uh, had you submitted that the court record has to be called for? Definitely. I, I, you did. I did. I did. Okay. And apart from that, I acknowledge this court record. Uh, this, it's okay. We'll uh, see. Is it correct? I'm not. That's why I'm asking whether the, then, why do a CD was called for? Why not court's record? Yes, Your Lordship. The court's record ought to have been called for, Your Lordship. Do you agree the, with me? Yes, Your Lordship. That court, uh, TCR could yes, have been called. Yes, yes. Anyway, we're calling it next week. From UPA? Yes, here only. This uh, district and session court. Uh, special district. judge? Yes, district and okay. session court. Okay. Same uh, next item is also for same eligible. Same. same. Just the same CD. Arising out of same FIR, your lordship. Hmm? Same charge sheet, same FIR, your lordship. Oh, same order. Deeply. Highly obliged. Yes. Your lordship, uh, on the last occasion, your lordship has. So for the uh, MLC, your lordship, uh, I have been. The MLC has been so sought from Tinsukia Sadia Hospital, your lordship. Uh, they'll be. They'll be sending the same today, your lordship. So this matter will be fixed on first, your lordship. Uh, on the prayer of Leonard, uh, uh, additional PP. Is this matter? On five, oh, on, on, on first, first, zero one, zero. No, your honor, on five, your honor, huh? on five, five April. Huh? No, it's okay, your honor, then one. On first, your lordship. Oh, uh, first, huh? Did you? Both this. 12 and 13. 13, same, your lordship. Did you? Item number 13. Same, same, same order. Item number 14. May it please the Lordship? Yes. Lord, uh, this former Deputy Commissioner and the present Deputy Commissioner, they have filed their affidavit. My Lord, uh, uh, maybe they can have today for final order or fix it on, on 10th of uh, next month. And, um, and another one thing is uh, the complaint report. report in this, uh, resp who is respondent number four? Respondent number four is the present additional deputy commissioner. Huh. Respondent number one and two, they have since retired. Huh. Yeah, but but before they retired, they have filed their affidavit. Now the new incumbent has uh, joined. Huh. So I have uh, filed an IA and then they have been made as uh, array days respond number three and four. Yes. So they have also filed the affidavit. They have filed it to date. Uh, and you know, simply kindly come to uh, page. Uh, no, office note 27.3 reflects that the, the in, uh, service report in respond number four is, is still awaited. Respond number Anybody four. appearing for respond number four? I'm appearing for respond number three. Three. You? I'm for one and two. One and two. Yeah. Who is for four? That's where that's the reason. Have you taken these steps? Yes. Otherwise, Malad, I may be given liberty to uh, take the steps. Dusty service. Okay. Uh, I heard Mr. Tippert in London Council to the petitioner. Diri Lung. MS for respondent number one, one and two. One and two. MS Sancho for London Council for respondent number three. Office note next one. Office note dated 2017-2024. Reflects that service report, report in respect of respondent report is still awaited. Mr. Next one. That's the service. Mr. Uh, the, the learned concept of the, Mr. T. Patit, learned concept, submits the, he may be allowed to take steps to the state mode. Mr. Praise the Lord. The learned concept for the petitioner is permitted to take steps to dusty mode within two days. In that case, we'll have to list after the 
after two weeks. This this matter after two weeks. Item number fifteen. Well, this matter relates to appointment of the arbitrator. Yes, the section eleven. What do you say? Fellowship. We don't have any objection. Huh? We don't have any objection. Ah. Huh. So, whom should be appointed? My Lord, this, uh, maybe there is a panel list of arbitrators. I don't know, my Lord. Here, my Lord. In principle, my Lord, there is here, my Lord. Hmm? In principle, Lord, there is a panel of the arbitrator, my Lord. I don't know this main uh, here, my Lord. Don't you have any agreed uh, names? There should be from panelists from the um, the high 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 court, my Lord. No, it's okay, but then. Yes. Do you have any agreed names? Uh, then I have to um, ask them our client. Ah, yeah, yes, better we'll, we'll, yes, if you have agree, uh, agreed name, you talk to your uh, client. Okay. After some time, I'll... Huh? After some time, I'll, I'll... Next week? No, my lord, next time or today, my lord, because huh? after some time, I'll talk, we'll talk, my lord. Any other period. Okay. After some time, my lord. Hmm. I pray your lordship to adjourn this matter for today. Huh? I pray your lordship to adjourn this matter for today. Why? Uh, your lordship, this matter is currently pending in Supreme Court. Huh? So until Supreme any... Court? Yes, your lordship. What is the matter? Uh, compensation. Okay, in that case, I cannot take up this matter. It's relative to that. Yes, yes, your lordship. Solicium, they have received the compensation, but they are asking for solicium. Mm -hmm. Okay. The uh, list this matter before any other appropriate bench without me. I cannot take up this. Okay. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, you're Respondent are, respondent are yet to file their affidavit, Your Honor. Huh? Respondent are yet to file their affidavit, Your Honor. You are for? I'm for petitioner. Petitioner. What is the matter? This is service matter, Your Honor. What service matter? You are good at matter? I'm not prepared, Your Honor. Why you are not prepared? Why you are coming to the court without preparation? Because this is fixed for order, Your Honor. And we have Does it matter? I just wanted to know. Don't argue. You tell us the, what is the matter. Uh, I I have been wrongly transferred, Your Honor, for which I have filed this WPC. Your Honor. Wrongly transferred. Yes, Your Honor. I have to file. We have to file affidavit. Huh? We have to file affidavit. Why you have wrongly transferred him? <laughs> you have to transfer him rightly, not wrongly. I'm not aware of that. <laughs> Had MS Sensor learned concept with the petitioner. Mr. El Rakab. El, El Rakab. El Rakab learned concept appearing on behalf of Mr. M. Katar learned DSGA. Praise for it is granted four weeks time to file affidavit in office. Four weeks. Four weeks. I do much. I do much. I do not pay to one. Wait, please, Lossip. Yes. But look, uh, this, uh, the order passed by Lossip. In the quantum petition number eight of 2023, hmm. you'll kindly come to page 25. Number not uh, uh, without going into the paragraph up to paragraph five because these are the other perfected aspects. What happened then? In paragraph six onwards, Malat. Yes. Page 27. May I read, Malat? Yes. Mr. Sassensas, Lander Sassensas, appearing for the respondent contenders, referring to paragraph 4 of the affidavit in opposition filed by the respondent contenders, submitted, submits that there is no willful disobedience of the court, order of this court. It is further submitted that payment of Sassensas has already been approved by the cabinet subcommittee and an administrative approval of the same amount has also been accorded for the current financial year 2022-23. However, due to Paucity of fund, the budgetary allocation for the entire amount could not be made 
at a time and therefore an amount of such and such has already been paid by the budget department and released to the petitioner by check number such and such, that is such and such. Mr. Such and such father submits that since the cabinet subcommittee has already accorded administrative approval for payment of the entire amount, the balance will be released within this financial year and that non-payment of the entire amount is not due to advertent inaction but due to certain mandatory procedure and paucity of fund and as such, Mr. Such and such submits that there is no willful disobedience of the order of this court and it is contended to dispose of the petition by fixing a time frame. Having heard the submissions of the such and such, uh, paragraph 8, it appears from the contention made in paragraph 4 of the affidavit in opposition of the respondents of the contenders, there is no willful disobedience of the order of this court on the part of the state respondents. The entire amount could not be paid due to paucity of fund as submitted by such and such. Than the census. In that view of the matter, this court is inclined to close dispose of this contempt petition by directing the respondent authorities to release the remaining amount to the petitioner within a period of six months from today. Now, this is an uh, order that, that 14 6, 2023. Mm -hmm. So, this six months period given by your, your lordship got over on 14 12 2023. Mm -hmm. And till today, uh, the payment has not been made. Now, my lord, I have also filed uh, IA for uh, finding out the uh, entire this thing uh, from when the interest would accrue. Now, my, lord, my submission is that the so what, what they're saying now? They, what they're saying now? Lose it. Lose it. Joseph, uh, we have demanded uh, for this amount uh, and place it before the finance department, also. But uh, allocation is yet to come from the finance department, also. When can you? Then you have to pay. You have to ask. You have on your uh, asking only. This court has allowed six months. That's correct, Joseph. But uh, as Joseph, uh, Joseph has seen, Joseph. If if we fail to pay within a period of six months, Joseph, then we have to pay the interest. That is also is there, Joseph. Mm. So, so for 5 crore, out of 10 crore losses, we have already paid 5 crore losses. Then 5 crore you pay. And rest losses, because, rest you pay. because finance department losses, they are not allocating the fund losses till that losses. So we are not no. able to pay that losses. Because amount has to come from... We'll the record that and we'll allow him to implead the commissioner of finance. Yes. It's, it's, Should I record it? It's part of the... Our no, no, it is, it is part of their affidavit also. Affidavit also, yes. Is the uh, is the finance yeah, department? They have filed a bit. No, finance department is the I think yeah. No, he's not no, the no, it's not part. finance. You you complete it. It's you have said that the uh, finance is spending. It's spending before the finance loss, right? Loss, that's loss. Apart from the losses, a money should have been filed by the petitioner before it, the losses. It's it. okay. That is different proceeding. Malad, there is spending losses. That is this very amount losses. Hmm. Because we. Because this honorable court has uh, categorically lost pass order losses to pay this within so and so losses. Yes. If, if you fail to do so losses, then you have to pay the interest at the lending rate of the uh, of a nationalized bank rate losses. But here losses, the petitioner has filed a suit before the London uh, Senior Division UPL losses, asking at the rate of losses uh, 18%. Uh, 12 no, 18 no, percent. That, no, that, that is 12, wrong submissions. Uh, what? Because this honorable court did has directed that interest should be so will be uh, will be accrued from such and such date but mm -hmm. the rate of interest was not uh, provided and that was uh, provision was pro made that the uh, appropriate forum will decide and therefore i have filed a petition to quantify the interest rate of interest so my my demand is 18 percent then no doubt about it but then i have also uh, uh, submitted the certificate from the State Bank of India that the ranges from 12 to 18 percent. So I, my prayer before the Honorable Court is that uh, exercise the uh, discretionary power and then quantify any any amount 12, 10, 15, 16, 18, whatever. Now in that case also, why the the less contenders they they are registering payment. They have, now, they now, have, now now what what is this? That is paying. What is your extent? In the affidavit, what is your stand in the affidavit? Yeah, we have taken losses because uh, partly the matter is uh, 
subjudice before the learned division uh, uh, no no that's senior division bench but let's uh, say, uh, that's that's come, come, uh, read uh, paragraph 3 of the refitib in malar hmm. they have straight away taken the name of the finance department you implicate the commissioner of finance because you are you are, you have uh, you have placed the, i mean uh, you have asked for yeah, a fund the lordship already finance is not giving you the finance not giving and also, we have already also taken a ground lordship. Partly, there is a matter of subject as before the lordship. Let me see here. Lordship. We'll say, heard Mr. There is Chief no the Learned Council for the petition. And also heard MS, uh, uh, Mr. Estafin, Learned I may be allowed Council to for Respondent the... Number. Alice Contemplant Number. All, all. Uh, yes. Alice Contemplant mm. Number 1 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 only. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. One and two. It is noticed that the the affidavit on behalf of respond number two has been placed on, uh, has been filed. Mister, uh, in the so I may be given liberty to uh, on perusal of the affidavit in opposition filed by the respond number one and two. Well, this contain number one and two. It transferred that the response number one and two has sought for a record fund from the government to the finance department. And they are yet to receive the fund as on that list of next prayer. In view of the above. The learned counsel for the petitioner is permitted to implete the uh, uh, commissioner, the commissioner, public secretary, finance department, finance department, government of Barnum. This after Some you have to file an impleting petition and notice has to be issued. As and when I file, it will be done. This list, list. list this after a week. Like, my lord, the, this is another, uh, in another case, my lord is appointed by um, the, one of the uh, principal ones, my lord, the one uh, retired judge, Sairani Kusami, retired district and session judge. Uh, uh, Empendil in the in a, um, what a high court, my lord, this case was appointed. Who is with your, your, uh, with your friend, other side? Because we have my lot of our own department, that will my lot not be huh? impartial. Man. We have one department, arbitrary, that is not impartial. Man. This is what? Miller is appointment of the arbitrator uh, under section 11 1 Miller petition. Miller. The railway was my lord. This is Alipuda railway was the party respondent. I, mm -hmm. I appeared on behalf of the Union of India, and my lord, as per suggestion, my lord, the district Sayani, she was appointed the arbiter by the honourable high high court. Man.
In this case, railway appointed arbiter, it was refused by the <coughs> refused Miller by the contractor Miller. Subsequently, they approached the High Court Miller. The High Court Miller then accordingly passed this order Miller. Section Miller amended it was 12 of 12 6. So you want that uh, this Srimati uh, yes, has to be a part of it. Retired impartial will be my bomb because my lord. And empanel arbiter of the Honorable High Court also my lord. Empanel hmm? arbiter of the Honorable High Court also my lord. Hmm. There is. My lord. She is also yes, yes, it was my lot uh, recorded there also, my lot. What is the contract? Contract, my lot, this. My lord, contract was my lord, uh, it was not executed. My lord, agreement was my lord on uh, this. My lord, here, here, uh, this paragraph, paragraph four, my lord, <coughs> contract <coughs> uh, page three. The petitioner um, said the contract agreement being so and so was awarded to responsible <coughs> for rupees uh, uh, 58 lakhs so and so, so and so. Uh, per have, you, have you invoked the arbitration clause? Yes, my lord, it is there, my lord. 37 of Yes, well, the arbitration clause is there, Miller. And this arbitration clause, Miller, this uh, 40, uh, page 47 Miller, of their agreement, Miller. All disputed, um, 37 Miller, all disputed between the parties, contract, page 47. We wrote a letter to waive that, Miller, as per section um, 12 5, Miller. But did not, there is no response from the party, Miller. If it is a web method, we can um, appoint um, from ourselves, my lord. Mm. But there is no response, my lord, so we approach this honorable court for appointing the impartial arbitrator. This is the case, my lord. Uh, don't you have the list, panel of arbitrators from the high court list? My lord, I have right, right now, I have not, but um, did that order reflect, my lord? Uh, is, uh, you, that... you, you furnish it and we'll appoint somebody. My lord? Oh, from that panel. Will appoint somebody from that panel. Yes, my lord. It was furnished that uh, the 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 today panel, panel of arbitration. Today, my lord. Ah. Right. But we'll we'll fix it next week. My lord, next week, my lord, for me, my lord, some other in I'm my lord, so my lord, ah. I have difficult. Any any date? Any date, my lord. You are for respondent. respondent. Yes, my lord, the contractor, my lord. Contractor. Yes, my lord. Okay. Mallard fix my my lord me fix on uh, 30 of April not 30 of April. 30? Yes, my lord. 30 holiday. Uh, no, no. April. April. Yes, my lord. Otherwise, what is there? You just have to furnish the list. My, because my myself may not be present here, my lord. So I the I'll be out of station, my lord. Dip. On the prayer of Mr. SK Medi. Yes, my lord. Then it counsel for the petitioner. And as agreed to by uh, on on uh, as, as agreed to by then it comes to the respondent come on list this matter on 30 04 20 otherwise i thought we'll dispose it okay. yes my lord so my lord that, that order reflects my lord same no siren does some says my lord empanel. anyway in that case you, you furnish the list no my lord all right you my furnish the list of yes, panel yes, of uh, yes, arbitrators from the high court. Um, no, two high court retired judges also, dear my lord. H.N. Sarma and my, my lord, Biket Sarma, my lord. We can appoint from them also. My lord. We'll appoint out of that. Yes, my lord. 
from the panel of the yes, uh, yes, yes. the high court and uh, let us may reflect that they are, on that day i'll produce the uh, impanel uh, arbitrator of the guwahati high court the the learned counsel for the petitioner is directed to place on the, place the 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 panel of arbitrators from from the high, high, high court uh, M panel of arbitrators. M panel by the M panel uh, arbitrators. And raise to me also, my lord, direct my lord, they will they may also, my lord, because you just place it, it's okay. I think for 22. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I'm for the petitioner appearing on behalf of uh, senior advocate D. Mazumdar. Uh, Your Honor, today the leading counsel is unable to appear before this honorable court. Take press steps. Yes, Your Honor. Or Mr. So -so Your Honor Are uh, you appearing? I filed one IA along with this red petition ah. to implead me as a respondent. Since okay. they have challenged, petitioner have challenged the memorandum of understanding which Applicant and uh, your Excellency Governor of Ornashal Pradesh has been entered. They have challenged that document. So mm -hmm. we are interested and affected parties. So, okay. So he's seeking time. We'll grant it when? In the meantime, I can be this for out. Yes, sure. We'll allow the implement. As a party. Huh? No, Your Honor. Uh... This method Any fixed. objection? Yes, Your Honor. This method must be fixed uh, on, uh, on another day so that... Uh, your name, please? N. Kakum. N. Kakum, London Council, appearing on behalf of Mr. Uh, T. Bagang. No, Your Honor. Uh, D. Majumdar. Yeah, D. Majumdar. D. The London Senior Council for the uh, petitioner. So, means that his senior... Yes, Mr. Sir. D. Mazir is indisposed today, for which he prays for listing the matter after two weeks. Yes, you are. After two weeks. Mr. X. Gatti, Learned Counsel for Applicant. Uh, uh, Learned Counsel for the Applicant in IA. So, Mr. No, no. Uh, Learned Counsel. Submits that he has filed an IA, being IA number. Uh, he has filed an uh, interlocutory application for implement of eight persons yes, as they are the necessary party in the present proceedings. Mister, the prayer of the council for the the council. Appearing on behalf of the petitioner is allowed. And uh, IS will be taken up on the next date fixed for disposal. List after two weeks. Two right. weeks. Highly yeah. good, sir. If you have, uh, see, if you have any objection to the IA, yes, Lord. you may file appropriate objection. Yes, Lord. Normally, uh, I'll convey your sir. We have taken step on service reports in respect of 3, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Still, uh, is worth it. List after four weeks, three weeks. List after three weeks. And you have less. I think we have four.
Yes, madam. You are supposed to obtain some instructions. Where is Mr. Tapin? Yes, Tapin. Call him. Okay, I'll you check the order that is 0503 2024. Call, call Tapin, Mr. Tapin. You check the, check, you see, first you see the order of uh, 53. Yes, yes, so, so, yes, so. No, no, it cannot be. We have already it, 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 huh? it, it is file also. I, I'm, I'm told. Huh? I'm told in file also. It is file. It's okay. We'll, we have already fixed it. All right. Because again, we have already fixed it. Again, I have to come again. You come. Me. What's there? Enjoy the beauty of eternal. <laughs> it is. It was there. <laughs> Yes. Hmm. Well, this is a simple appeal. Simple appeal. Simple appeal. Huh. Because the, they have already <coughs> admitted in their claim prison that the deceased was the owner and right, uh, driver of the vehicle. And they have purchased one insurance policy. It is to be considered as first part. But the actually the tribunal is to decide a matter of third party, not for the first party. Hmm. Anyway, <coughs> now they have also admitted in their um, claim petition in para number which is three point number three, page number fifteen. That the deceased was owner come driver of the said ill fated vehicle and having a valid driving license. Bearing number so and so, valid from so and so to so and so. <coughs> they have admitted that the deceased was the owner of the driver of the vehicle. Now, as per the terms and condition of the policy, the insured is to get an amount of rupees only two lakhs as per the terms and condition of the policy. Because here in this case, like this is who was the insured was the first part. So and accordingly we have deposited that amount on <coughs> that the amount has already been deposited by the insurance company and the claimant have also withdrawn that amount from the tribunal, no? <clears throat> we have deposited... What, what is the ground of appeal? Appeal is they have... The learned tribunal have considered the disease in one time as a first party and in the other hand as a third party. But here in this case, being the insured, being the, uh, being the owner, owner and rider of the... Uh, it cannot be considered as a third party. He is the first party of the insurance policy because this is a contract. Insurance policy is a contract between the insured and the insurer. So our liability is limited to two lakhs, and that amount has already been paid by the insurance company, and that amount has already been withdrawn by the uh, claimant. It's okay. Uh, what about that, the? That is the point. Awarded the amount. Awarded amount. The awarded amount was eight lakhs. Fifty two thousand seven hundred and fifty. Hmm. So our condition is that that his was the owner come driver and as part so of the third party is not entitled for yes, compensation. Yes. That only the, the limited yes. amount. Limited amount that is two lakhs and that that's which two lakhs has already been deposited. As per the policy. As per the policy. And that is the condition of the policy. Yes. What is the terms and policy? Terms and condition of the policy was. Right.
liability section, basic third party liability. Where it is, sir? Where it is? In NX3, page number 11. <laughs> NX3, page number 11. Page number 11. Yes. Huh? Last portion. PA cover under section 3 for owner driver is rupees 2 lakhs. And third party property damage is 7 lakhs 50,000. Hmm. Where it is? In lower portion. It's very difficult to read. Can you type it out? For me, it is very difficult to read. Font is very small. Wait, wait, you just read it. What is this? Limited. Yeah, what is yeah. this? The second is the of the policy damage to third party property is rupees seven lakhs fifty thousand. Then why you were saying you know what about those two lakhs? Here in this case, the disease is not to be considered as third party. Cover under section PA cover under section three for owner death. This is was the owner owner death. So for him, our liability is rupees two lakhs. In the same line. So Seven lakhs fifty is the third part. If anything, what 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 the, the tribunal has done? Tribunal has considered in one this, way, this is seven point five. First party, and on the other way, it is considered as a third. That is the point. Where it is? So. Okay. In Hello, it's in uh, page seven of the judgment, Your Lordship. Huh? It's in page seven of the judgment, Your Lordship. Seven. Page seven. Page. Page seven of the judgment. Yes. Of the uh, tribunal. Your Lordship, may come to yes. page number huh? On further careful examination of the insurance policy on limit of liability. Page. Page. Judgment. Page seven of the judgment. What do you mean by page seven of judgment? That's impugned judgment. Where it is? In this petition, where it is? Which there. page? That is not page. It's not there. Yet. It's not NX. Huh? Judgment is NX, but it is not number page. Where it is? Right. <clears throat> okay, How do you consider this sort of uh, this thing? Is is it annexed? No, your lordship. Huh? No, your lordship. The annexures are your lordship. Annexure one and two are the driving license and registration certificate. Annexure three. Why is you are showing from me? This is the my personal copy, and that has already been submitted. Where? In the third. Where it is submitted? Annexure four is the payment advice. Annexure five is the claim petition. Return statement and two checks, your lordship, which they have deposited before this honorable court, your lordship, before the registrar. Why you not annex the judgment? Huh? In index, first is the memorandum of appeal. Hmm? Is it not required for you to annex the judgment? Yes, read it. On further careful examination of the insurance policy. Where it is? In page number seven. Yes. <clears throat> it is found that the third party insurance is Page number, it's a big uh, thing, long uh, thing. Which one? Further? From where you are reading? Uh, ninth line, your logic, from the top. On perusal, your logic.
wherein it is held that eleven on further careful, huh? On further careful examination of the insurance policy on limit yes. of liability, it is found that the third party insurance is extended to seven lakhs fifty, and cover of owner term driver under section three CSI is rupees two lakhs. Hence, it is observed that the insurance policy insurance policy of the deceased vehicle is mixed of first party and third party policy. The seven lakhs fifty thousand is the third party property damage. The personal accident coverage is two lakhs. But the learned people have considered the policy as a mixed policy. It is found that third party insurance is extended to 7.5 lakhs. 7 and the cover of owner come driver is 2 lakhs. Ah. Then? Here in this case, the deceased was the owner come driver. So our liability was 2 lakhs. Hmm. And that 2 lakhs has already been deposited by the hmm. insurance. Hmm. So we have no any liability. Hmm. That is the <clears throat> In this regard, I want to submit some citation of the Honorable Supreme Court and Guwahati High Court. Last part. Last part. The relevant portion I have played it on. Therefore, in terms of the policy, the personal accident benefit was limited to a sum of rupees one in case of motorcycle. But <coughs> in first, in number two, mm. it is argued that it was a case of motorcycle, whereas the liability of the insurance company is limited to one lakh in the aspect of personal accident coverage, but in the aspect of four wheeler, the liability is limited to two lakhs. Is not a four wheeler. It, it, our vehicle was four wheel, four wheel. Four so wheel. our bank is two lakhs. So and accordingly we have paid that two lakhs. Yes. This is in point nine. Therefore, the High Court was not justified in directing the applicant insurance to pay the compensation determined by the tribunal. Since the indemnification extended to personal accident of the GCs is limited to two lakhs under the contract of insurance, the respondents are entitled to the said amount towards compensation. Hence, the applicant is directed to deposit said sum of rupees two lakhs with interest at the rate of nine percent per annum from the date of the claim petition till the date of deposit with the tribunal within a period of four weeks from today. And that amount has already been deposited by us. That's all. That's all. There is also our, our high court judgment. Well, Lord, we go to point number 21. The perigel of the policy, Exhibit 10, shows that the deceased as owner of the vehicle paid an extra premium of personal accident coverage and therefore the liability of the insurer in the instant case is case for the date of injury of the owner would not be beyond what is provided in the policy as per contract between the insurer and the insurer. Since the deceased himself was the owner of the vehicle, 
in short with Bajaj Alliance General Insurance Company Limited. The Bajaj Alliance General Insurance Company Limited is not liable to pay any compensation as directed by the tribunal um, for the simple reason that as per the policy and also as per the provision of section 147 of the MBA, Bajaj Alliance General Insurance Company Limited has yes. no liability for the debt or injury of the owner except what is provided in the policy under the personal accident covers. You paid uh, two lakhs before or after the judgment? Yes, sir. after the judgment. After that. And that receipt is exhibited as um, an extra as an extra four. This this award is uh, minus the eight uh, two lakhs. Pardon? This judgment, the award is uh, in addition to two lakhs or uh... no, no, in addition to two lakhs. No, no, sir. Huh? No, I don't. Over on two lakhs. Huh? Over on two lakhs. Our liability is over on two lakhs. The award eight lakhs is is inclusive of uh, two lakhs or yes, excluded? Yes. Inclusive of two lakhs. Hmm. Doesn't say so. Is it inclusive of two lakhs? There's nothing in the judgment of the judgment say, yes. saying so, your lord. Hmm. <laughs> so therefore, they could not have filed an. Uh, Petition under section 166. That is what you are saying. <coughs> huh? Uh -huh. No petition lies because under section 166. That consider that this is a third party. Uh -huh. When it can be actually the what petition he has filed? 166. Huh. So he is not entitled any any uh, compensation under 166. This is what you are saying. Actually, he is he is not to file. Petition under section 166. Huh. Because he's first party to the insurance. So he he may direct to, directly go to the insurance comp, comp, uh, company and file a PA cover as claim petition. So 147? So 147? 147? 147, yes. 147. 147. What about Requirement of policies and limit, limits of that. Hmm. In order to <coughs> comply with the requirement of, <coughs> of this chapter, a policy of insurance must be a policy. It's okay. Policy. Yes. You know, Chip, the entire case, what I have understood from my point of view, you know, Chip. Yes. There is no dispute that the offending vehicle was, uh, it was duly insured. You know, hmm. There is no dispute. They have never disputed that thing before the learned tribunal also. In fact, they have filed the written statement and after that, they never appeared before the tribunal. The matter was proceeded ex parte by virtue of determining certain issues were framed, your logic. And the learned tri tri tribunal had... They have filed the written statement? They filed the logic. Okay, what, what is their stand there? Their stand is only that the I am the owner come driver and hence, since I am not third He's party... Not I'm, for yes, my understanding... Your, yes, your logic. My understanding is that your logic... What I've understood, I have very limited understanding, Your Lordship, in this case. Your Lordship, no doubt, Your Lordship, in the event, Your Lordship, uh, he's an honor come driver, Your Lordship. In the event there is a rash and negligent driving, Your Lordship, on the part of the driver or the owner, then the claim, Your Lordship, is disputed, Your Lordship. There is already a ruling by Honorable Apex Court also, Your Lordship. It is in, uh, so decided in National Insurance Services, uh, yeah. Astala Bobis case, Your Lordship. Uh, 2018 8 SSC 801 your lordship it, it right. may have been submitted your lordship but here is the case your lordship where the offending vehicle your lordship Asalaka Bomik yes your lordship National Insurance Company Limited versus Asthala Bomik this Asalata. is 2018 8 SSC 801 your lordship actually mm -hmm. what has what has been decided in that case your lordship was that in the event there is Rash and negligent driving on the part of the owner come driver, your lordship. Then the claim petition, your lordship, is not maintainable. But also, your lordship, in that case, what happened, your lordship? The uh, apex court directed for payment of 9% upon the 2 lakhs, your lordship. My understanding is that, your lordship. But in this case, your lordship, what has happened, your lordship? There is an MVA report that was exhibited before the trial court, your lordship. 
that is an actual eight year uh, exhibit eight year lordship the cause of the accident was a lordship was not rash of negligent driving lordship in fact it was due to the steering failure your lordship that is in the mba report your lordship there is no part no part from uh, the clemens disease husband your lordship that he drove the vehicle rash and negligently and hit somebody or he had caused the accident and he had died there was purely mechanical defect your lordship that is my understanding your lordship. so their contention that i'm being the owner and owner come driver your lordship and i i had a, died due to the accident your lordship and the claim petition no what they're saying is you being the owner and the driver yeah whether negligence, no negligence, accidental, whatever. Yes, sir. You, you are not entitled. You are not a third party. You are the first party, right? In my opinion, Your Lordship, the first party will be the insurance company, Your Lordship. Huh? I may be the second party and the third party will be the party in huh? the event who is uh -huh. whose property or that is damaged. His, their views right. are very young. No, anyway, the, 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 since you are not a third party, Lordship. you are not entitled to for a company. Your entitlement on, only as per the policy. Limited Lordship. to two legs. Now, what has happened in this case, Your Lordship? There is, though there is no damage to the third party also, Your Lordship. Hmm. What the trial court, Your Lordship? Uh, uh, Lordship, may kindly come back to the judgment, Your Lordship, trial court. On the ninth line itself, Your Lordship. Hmm. The hmm. policy was a package policy, Your Lordship. Hmm. That is what, what is the view of the court, Your Lordship. Huh? The ninth line, Your Lordship. Hmm. On perusal, Your Lordship. Hmm. Page seven, Your Lordship, of the judgment. Hmm. Ninth line. Hmm. On perusal of the insurance policy, it is found that the type of the policy is a package policy, private vehicle. This was the view taken by the Lanet Tribunal. What, what is it on the? On perusal of the insurance policy, hmm. it is found that the type of policy is a package policy, private vehicle. And on further careful examination of insurance policy, the limits of liability was decided. It was decided for 7.5 lakhs and 2 lakhs, Your Lordship. Hence, it is observed that the insurance policy is the, of the deceased vehicle is mixed of first party and third party coverage policy, Your Lordship. The first party, Your Lordship, there is no dispute, Your Lordship. Hmm. The third party, they are disputing, Your Lordship, because they are saying that I am not, not the owner. Now, in the event that there was an accident, Your Lordship, there was no damage uh, to the third party of life or property, Your Lordship. What I have, what I have understood from this part of the judgment, Your Lordship, is the trial court below, Your Lordship, the tribunal was of the understanding that since there was no damage to the uh, third party, Your Lordship, hmm. uh, the limits of liability which was given for the third party insurance, he have dubbed it together, Your Lordship. And on the basis, this judgment was passed. My understanding, Your Lordship, what mm -hmm. happens to Your Lordship is this. But there is no dispute that I am not an insured person. And the claim petition which is filed under 166 is by the legal hair, Your Lordship. It is as per the mandates of 166, 165, 147, Your Lordship. Mm -hmm. And uh, upon that, Your Lordship, this trial court has uh, passed the order of uh, given the compensation of your logic, taking into consideration of Pranay City's case, your logic, hmm. of uh, future loss and future loss of the claimants, your logic. Where it is? Uh, it's in the same paragraph, your logic. Hmm. The deceased was not having a regular source of income, your logic. The deceased was not having regular source of income, but he was self-employed. No, no, we're not concerned that. Yes, your logic. What he's saying is, since you are not a third party, you can you are not entitled for other compensation except the as per the policy. There are Limited two parts. To two legs. There are two parts of their contention, your Lordship. Hmm. First is that I am the owner come driver, hmm. and hence I am not liable. I cannot claim petition. Uh, I cannot claim the compensation because you are not the third party, and I am not the third party. Hmm. Now, what I've submitted before this honourable court no, is no, you being a owner and driver. Yes, sir. You are not a third party. Yes, sir. Lordship. That's all. Therefore, you are not entitled there, to the however, however, your lordship, the view, the view which has taken by the Apex Court, your lordship, ah. as well as uh, I would like to play some certain citation also, your lordship, ah. or uh, honourable Tripura High Court, your lordship. There also same thing was decided, your lordship. Ah.
This is a MSc appeal number 16 of 2014, Your Lordship. Of Tripura? Tripura, Your Lordship. Huh. Just for the understanding of this case, Your Lordship. Hmm. Your Lordship, may come to page number four, uh, paragraph number four, Your Lordship. Paragraph four? Paragraph four, Your Lordship, first. Hmm. The, uh, the appellant filed the written statement in the tribunal as in the case and denied that the said accident occurred while attempting to uh, save a shadow. Mr. So and so, learned counsel appearing for the appellant has emphatically submitted that the accident took place for negligence driving of the deceased. While your lordship saving a dog, your lordship. Here also, here is also case your lordship when there was owner come driver, your lordship. And since he is not a third party, his claim petition is not maintainable. The whole case is about, about the maintainability, your lordship. Your lordship may come to uh, paragraph number 11, your lordship. Kindly. Paragraph 11. Page 5, Your Lordship. Para? Para 11, Your Lordship. S.S. Yes, Roy. Yes, Your Lordship. P.S. Yes. Roy. Mr. P.S. Roy, learned counsel appearing for the respondent while refuting the submission advanced by Mr. G. Chaudhary, learned counsel appearing for the appellant, has stated that the decision of the apex court which are relied on by the appellant are in case where the owner come driver was held negligent, Your Lordship. Was held negligent. This is what, Your Lordship, I am submitting. This is the submission of the council? Yes, Your Lordship. Huh? These are the submission. Now, Your Lordship may come to paragraph Actually, number the 15, Your Lordship. The of the FX code which are relied on by the appellant are in case where the owner... Here also, Your Lordship, the respondent had made the same same thing, Your Lordship. What yes, I'm submitting what is. What is the decision? Paragraph number 15, Your Lordship, then. These are the decisions of the court, Your Lordship. What and has happened in this case? Page 6, and the next page. Paragraph 15. Last part, Your Lordship. Paragraph 15. 15, 1515. Giving an insert. Yes, the same same thing has happened in this. Whether the dependent of the co uh, owner come driver of the vehicle who died in the accident involving his vehicle would be entitled to maintain a petition under section so and so, Your Lordship, 163. Now, 163, Your Lordship, is also a part of 165, 166. Huh? 163 petition is also, Your Lordship, part of 166 only, Your Lordship, basically. This was decided, Your Lordship. Now, their claim is also this thing only, Your Lordship, the appellants in this case. Paragraph 16, Your Lordship. There cannot be any amount of doubt that owner come uh, driver is covered by the policy in the case in hand. Thus, insurance company by virtue of such, such indemnity is liable to make a good damage after the, ascertaining the same. Thereafter, your lordship, paragraph 17, they have, uh, the trial court, uh, the Tripura High Court has discussed about the Bimlas, uh, Bimlesh case, your lordship. In that case, it was matter was remanded back. The final decision, your lordship, this case is at paragraph 18, your lordship. From a reading of Bimlesh Supra, Your Lordship, this court finds that, uh, that that was an order of remand and no law was cleared, clearly laid down whether a petition under Section 163 of MB Act would be maintainable or not. But the FX court indicated to its maintainability. This court is of the opinion that the question is no doubt very interested when no negligence has been proved by the appellant or any other person in the proceeding. Section 163 of the Motor Vehicle Act is for a no-fault liability. For the victim of the accident, it is basically to realize the claim from the owner or from the insurer if they just indemnify the damages of the owner. Whether within the scope of Section 163 of the Motor Vehicle Act, the death of the owner come driver of the vehicle which met with the accident can be included or not. According to this court, this cannot be included, else it would do a violence to provision under Section 163, in as much as the tribunal cannot be the proper forum, an initial claim has to be raised before the insurance company as it happens in the matter of personal insurance claim. And if in the event the insurance company does not properly ascertain the damage and pay the just and reasonable compensation or in terms in the, of the policy, it would be open to the aggrieved to approach the forum constituted under Consumer Protection Act 1986. Since in this case, the tribunal has ascertained the damage and there is no challenge to the quantum of quantum of the appellant, the insurer, the insurer is directed to pay the said amount 
by excluding the penal rate of the interest as imposed within a period of so and so days from today. Needless to say, such payment shall be made on deducting the amount, if any, already paid. On such deposit, claimant respondent shall be entitled to receive the amount in proportion as decided by the tribunal. Okay. Uh, This is a case, Your Lordship, also wherein additional premium was also paid, Your Lordship. In my case also, Your Lordship, additional premiums are already paid, Your Lordship. You read the last para, 17, 18. Yes, Your Lordship. Hmm? From the beginning, Your Lordship. From a reading of Bimlesh Supra, Your Lordship. This court finds that there was an order of remand. In Bimle's case, your logic, we just led in this case. You read. And no law was clearly laid whether a petition under Section 163 of Motor Vehicle Act would be maintainable or not. But the FX court indicated to its maintainability. maintainability. This court is of, of the opinion that the question is no doubt very intricate when no negligence has been proved by the appellant or any other person in the proceeding image. Section 163 of the Motor Vehicles Act is for no fault liability. For the victim of the accident, it is basically to realize the claim from the owner or from the insurer if they indemnify the damages of the owner. Whether within the scope of Section 163 of the Motor Vehicle Act, the death of owner come driver of the vehicle which met, with, uh, which met the accident can be included or not. According to this code, this cannot be included Else, it would do a violence to the provision of 163A. Yes. Yes, Lord Chief. It goes against you. Cannot be included. Yes, Lord Chief. But the preceding lines, Lord Chief. In the event there is a negligence, Lord Chief, on the part, Lord Chief. That was about the cases, Bimle's case. I have the ruling with me, Lord Chief. Huh? I have the ruling of Bimle's case also, Lord Chief. Huh? If I may play, maybe allow to play, Lord Chief. No, no, according to this judgment, yes, sir, Lord Chief. it said that it cannot be included. But in Bimle's case, your Lord Chief, the matter And it's a 163A. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. All your case is 166. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. 166 <laughs> is the, your Lord Chief. 166 is the claim petition, your Lord Chief. Uh -huh. We just filed before the tribunal, your Lord Chief. Which you, they are saying that you could not have filed. Your Lord Chief, where you is... you are not entitled. Where is your Lord Chief? In the policy, your Lord Chief. And the... Present respondent is the sole sole nominee, Lord Chief. Huh? I am the sole nominee. Lord you Chief. can file, but then the filing is not a maintainability. In effect, it's a maintainability. Maintainability, Lord When Chief. do the you are if you are seeking for a compensation, Lord Chief. On the death of somebody, Lord Chief. Which the insurer is not liable to pay, Lord Chief. Then it's it's effect. It's it's a maintainability only. You may file it. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. But you are not entitled. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. In effect, it's a maintainability only. Is that it? Lord Chief. Then, this, call, this judgment which you have realized goes against you. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. It said it should do violence to the provision. Therefore, you cannot be included since you are a driver and uh, owner. Lord Chief. Right? But... In the event when there is rash or negligent driving from my part, Your Lordship, hmm. that is what this judgment says, Your Lordship. My understanding, Your Lordship. In Bimlesh also, Your Lordship, same thing happened, Your Lordship. There was rash and negligent driving. That is why it's not. He cannot. Uh, the claim petition is not maintainable, Your Lordship. Hmm. And in according to you, unless there is a rash and negligence, yes, Your Lordship. If it is not proved, you are entitled. Lord Chief, this even if you are not a third party, yes, sir, Lord Chief. Huh? Since even though I am honor come driver, your Lord Chief. Ah, so as any law on there, there is your Lord Chief is not there. No, that is what we want. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. These cases, there was a recent negligence. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. Recent negligence. Yes, Lord Therefore, you could not have it. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. I According could. to you, if there is no if there is no proof of recent negligence, Lord Chief, uh, he's entitled. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. Though he's not a third party. 
Lord Chief. This is what you are saying. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. Then what what about After... section one forty seven and the policy? Yes, sir, Lord Chief. This is very Lord Chief. That's the reason the court had said Tripura High Court had said it will do violence to the provision. Yes, sir, Lord Chief. So anything else? That's all, Your Lordship. I'm only related. Unless you also give her Mr. So and so learning council for the Mr. Ghosh. Mr. Ghosh. B Ghosh. Learned Council for the FLN Insur National Insurance Company. Also heard Mr. T Sring. T Sring. Learned Council for the Clement Respondent. Respondent yes. Clement. Only one Respo respondent. Yes, sole respondent. Huh? Sole respondent. Sole respondent. Sole respondent. <laughs> what I found in the judgment of the tribunal, Your Lordship, hmm? it's it's not a reasoning reasoning judgment, Your Lordship. Huh? It's not a reasoning judgment by the trial court also, Your Lordship. Yes. That's why there is so much of confusion also, Your Lordship. What I've gone through. The only the paragraph, the last paragraph of page number seven, Your Lordship. Mm. That is what Your Lordship. The the insurance policy of is of mixed of third and the first party, Your Lordship. That is what Your Lordship. Next paragraph. This is an this is an appeal. And the section one seventy three of the Motor Bike Lake, nineteen eighty eight. Selling the judgment and order that 21 12 2019 passed by the member MACT, comma, Bamdila, West Coming, comma, in MAC case number 04 of 2018, whereby the Clement, whereby an N Amount of rupees eight lakhs fifty two thousand seven hundred fifty. You write in uh, words also, huh? only on different heads. We will uh, uh, different heads along with interest at the rate of six percent per annum from the date of filing of the claim petition. In actual relation was uh, has been awarded to the. Clement. Yes. Where is the facts? There is no facts. Facts of the case, Lord Chief. Uh, huh? Is there in the judgment, Your Lord Chief? Only judgment. Yes, Lord Chief. You have not said anything about the facts. At least the facts could have been. Next paragraph. You just read. Uh, the. Case in brief, huh? Come on. Is that a written FI was filed on three zero zero one two thousand eighteen by one Mr. Renchi Nor Nor Norbu. to the effect that at around 14 hours, 1400 hours, a vehicle bear number, bearing vehicle bearing registration number AR044656 within bracket Alto met with an accident at Padma Kama Dira. In the wherein one city, Rin 
Nyukmadu village and his wife Srimati KP KPPY were in the said vehicle on being self driven by the said rain ring and the said rain ring died on the spot and his wife Srimati KP also sustained simple injury on her person. Thereafter, the case was registered being DRZ, Dirang PS case number 04 of 2018 under section 279, public 304, in bracket, small a, a capital A, bracket close 337 by PC. What about the criminal case? What is this? Uh, that has been disposed of by the trial trial court in Logic. Saying what? Dispose yes. of? Huh? Yes, sir, Logic. During the investigation? No, sir, Logic. After the charge, FR was filed. Uh, during the investigation, it was found that After the, the investigation. accident took place due to sudden steering failure. <clears throat> Final report was filed by the investigating agency, Lordship. Thereafter, Lordship, the matter was closed okay. for that. Huh? Yes, sir. Next pair. Next pair, huh? The Respondent has filed a claim petition, being the, uh, the claim petition under section one sixty six of Motor Vehicle Act, claiming compensation rupees ten lakhs ninety thousand from the appellant against the offending vehicle on account of the death of her husband. Let rinsing in the rinsing, huh? R I N R. Vehicle accident. Mister. The opposite party, number one and two. They, 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 the appellant had filed a written statement internally denying all the allegations and liabilities. The appellant states that the opening vehicle was insured for third party only and since the deceased was the owner and the driver of the vehicle, the respondent claimant is not entitled to get any compensation for the appellant and the Liability limited is to fees two thousand two lakhs only as per the policy of the insurance. Huh? Yes. yes. It is seen that The as many as uh, uh, the, the the tribunal has framed six issues, huh? Page three of uh, judgment, huh? Six issues.
Record is there. Record. Was there any uh, evidence taken? Yes, sir. Of uh, two. Any witnesses? Two witnesses of the claim in hmm. And secondly, your logic, I, I beg to disturb your logic. Huh. So sorry. The claim amount your logic was uh, actually given after deduction of the money which has already been paid to the claim in Where it is? In the page nine, the award portion of the judgment. Ah, well, just read it. The sum of pays eight lakhs fifty two thousand seven hundred fifty is awarded to the claimants with interest at six percent per annum from the date of filing of the claim petition. That is 14 8 2018. Till actual realization of the award after deducting amount paid to the claimant under section 140 of the act and by any amount paid to or by any other way, six, seven, if any. After deducting, yes, mm -hmm. that two lakhs is not <coughs> under section 140. Mm. Under section 140, in case of death, it is 50,000. Mm. And in case of injury, it is under section 140, it is 25. No fault liable. But <coughs> we have paid the entire amount. We have, but we have already deposited two lakhs. Huh. So it is the whatever the no, no fault liable. No fault liability, it's inclusive of huh? 50,000. Actually, at the time of award, award. Policy no limited to two legs. Limited to two legs. Limited to two Immediate treaty. Immediate treaty of the family. And at the time of if the amount is 8 lakhs 50,000, then <coughs> 50,000 is to be deducted. Because it is actually. Uh, two legs is a policy which is limited to uh, entitled to the. Yes, yes. Whatever 140, no fault liability. is for no fault liability. Have you paid it? No, no, no. We have not paid. We have paid entire. No, I not. You have to pay the no fault liability. No, no, no fault liability. Liability is not separate. It is inclusive of 160. When and compensation when... is given. Yes. Your policy of uh, limited to two lakhs yes. is different. So we have paid one, uh, two lakhs. If we, if we paid 50,000 under section 140, then the, our liability was 150,000. No, no, yes. that's in order. We'll, we'll, I'll pass it, dispose of <coughs> We'll continue. Huh? <coughs> That's all. Yes, sir. Dispose of. Yes. Yes, you have been directed to obtain some instruction. Item number 24. Item. Yes. Yes, Lord. Twenty-four. Item twenty-four. Yes, Lord. Lord, as per instruction, the instruction was no secret. Why the appointment of Miss Kartu Kai, sister-in-law, present prisoner, who has engaged in so and so, discontinued, not yes. continued, was discontinued, and thereafter, person similar to you who had also donated land for prison in question of corruption has still been continued. Yes. As per instruction, Lossip, <coughs> that uh, three local uh, Lossip land donors Lossip, whose uh, document is the Lossip agreement. Lossip. So they have been given the Lossip WC uh, 
work change appointment on the basing on the donation agreement is hmm. donation agreement is already next uh, in the law say for ah epd been operation also ah and so for this present uh, uh the donor is concerned law say our as per our is uh, still law say yes uh, they have not donated the land law say even then law say here what, what we are because at that, that point of time is not uh, the petitioner is not the donor petition is not the donor Petition so donors not. have been allowed what, to what, continue. What, what she is saying is a lawsuit. Her husband lawsuit donated land lawsuit in year back like 2001. Hmm. And what her husband is stated lawsuit. If lawsuit say the, the 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 because that part the pleading is not their lawsuit, but their representation before the authority is eight page uh, 25 lawsuit. Anyway, you have got the instruction. Got the instruction. What about the, what what is to be done? No, see, otherwise, uh, this matter lawsuit. Mm. Whether lawsuit because what prayer has been made lawsuit as per two thousand thirteen lawsuit, uh, uh, land compensation act lawsuit. Mm. They are asking for the compensation lawsuit. Whereas this was a lawsuit, the acquisition was done in year two thousand lawsuit. Two thousand. Two thousand. And constructions of the that project also it was completed in 2006 also. What is the construction? What work? Hydro hydro power. What is to be done? And we'll dismiss for non prosecution. No sip. Otherwise, sir. Uh, hmm? Otherwise, 2016 time. method. That's what I'm saying. We'll dismiss for non prosecution. Otherwise, it may be listed on Tuesday. Lawsuit. He may come, lawsuit. Mr. Uh, Let them file a thing. This 2016 matter. There's no. They could have engaged someone. Yeah, that's. And I've seen uh, there's so many uh, on occasion, so many occasions uh, the petitioner was not represented. Okay, gentlemen, that part is still lost. Uh, non appears on behalf. Uh, non appears for the petitioner. On call, come on. And uh, Mr. Tapin, S. Tapin, learner senior government advocate, is present. Let petition dismiss for non prosecution. Dismiss. Okay.